Ever found yourself constantly swatting at flies, chewing away mosquitoes, or nervously watching spiders in your home? If you have, you're not alone. Households worldwide grapple with these unwelcome guests. They're not just annoying, they can carry diseases too. So how do we typically deal with these pests? Many resort to chemical sprays, insect traps, or even professional exterminators, but these methods can be expensive, harmful to the environment, and let's face it, not always effective. Flies can dodge your swatter, mosquitoes ignore your traps, and spiders, well, they just seem to reappear no matter how many times you vacuum them up. Moreover, these traditional methods don't prevent them from coming back. It's like a never-ending game of chase. What if I told you there's a unique natural solution to this problem? A solution that not only eliminates these pests, but also adds a touch of exotic charm to your home. Say hello to carnivorous plants. Carnivorous plants, nature's very own pest control. Intriguing, isn't it? In the grand theatre of nature, these organisms have evolved a fascinating method for sustenance. Unlike most plants that rely solely on photosynthesis, carnivorous plants have developed a taste for meat, if you will. Now, how do these plants work? Picture this. An unsuspecting insect is lured by the plant's sweet scent, vibrant colours or nectar. Once the insect lands on the plant, it finds itself stuck in a sticky substance or trapped in a sudden enclosure. The insect struggle triggers the plant to start the digestion process, slowly breaking down the insect into nutrients. It's a plant's world out there, and it's not always as serene as it seems. But it's not all doom and gloom for the insects. In fact, this remarkable adaptation of carnivorous plants can be of great benefit to us humans. Think of it as a natural, eco-friendly, and quite frankly, a visually appealing way to tackle common household pests. No need for harmful chemicals or unsightly flypaper. Instead, you have a living, breathing piece of art that doubles up as a pest control agent. Carnivorous plants can be a solution to those pesky flies, mosquitoes and spiders in your home. They're not just for the rainforests or exotic greenhouses. With the right care and conditions, these plants can thrive in your living room, kitchen or even your bedroom, providing a unique talking point and keeping your space pest-free. So if you're intrigued by the idea of having a carnivorous plant in your home, you might be wondering, which one should I get? Well, worry not. We're here to help you make that decision. Now let's delve into which carnivorous plants are best suited for home use. Not all carnivorous plants are created equal, especially when it comes to keeping them at home. This is a fascinating world of greenery that's a bit more active than your average potted palm. Today we're going to focus on three types of carnivorous plants that are particularly well suited to home use. The Venus flytrap, the pitcher plant and the sundew. Let's kick off with the Venus flytrap, the most iconic of carnivorous plants. This little green marvel, native to the subtropical wetlands of the east coast of the United States, is known for its jaw-like leaves that snap shut on unsuspecting insects. The Venus flytrap lures its prey with a sweet nectar, then, in a fraction of a second, its leaves clamp down and digestion begins. It's a dramatic spectacle of nature that's sure to fascinate anyone. Venus flytraps are compact and easy to keep, making them a great addition to your windowsill garden. Next up, we have the pitcher plant. These plants come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but all share a common trait. A deep cavity filled with digestive liquid known as a pitcher. Insects are attracted by the plant's sweet nectar, but once inside the slippery walls of the pitcher, they find it impossible to climb back out and eventually drown. This makes the pitcher plant a very effective insect catcher. It's also a visually striking plant, with its large, colourful pitchers adding a unique touch to your home. Lastly, let's talk about sundews. These delicate plants are covered in tentacle-like stalks, each tipped with a sticky drop of dew. This dew is actually a sweet, sticky substance that attracts and traps insects, which are then slowly digested by the plant's enzymes. Sundews are fascinating to watch, as they slowly wrap their tentacles around their prey. They're small, versatile plants that can thrive in a variety of conditions, making them a good choice for first-time carnivorous plant owners. Each of these plants has its own unique charm, 
The Venus flytrap, with its dramatic quick-action trapping mechanism, is a real conversation starter. The pitcher plant, with its large ornate pitchers, adds an exotic flair to any room. And the sundew, with its delicate dew-covered stalks, is a beautiful and fascinating plant to observe. Beyond their unique features, these plants are also excellent at keeping those pesky flies, mosquitoes and spiders at bay. They're nature's own pest control, providing a green and cruelty-free solution to common household pests. They're also a great way to introduce children to the wonders of nature, offering up-close and personal encounters with one of nature's most fascinating adaptations. But how do you take care of these fascinating plants? Let's find out next. Caring for carnivorous plants can be a unique challenge, but it's certainly manageable. These fascinating organisms, with their peculiar dietary habits, have adapted to thrive in conditions that many other plants would find inhospitable. However, with a bit of know-how and some tender loving care, you'll find that these plants can thrive in your home too. The first point to consider is water. Unlike many houseplants, carnivorous plants often prefer rainwater, distilled water or reverse osmosis water. This is because they've evolved in nutrient-poor environments and tap water often contains minerals and chemicals that can harm them. So if you want to keep your carnivorous plants happy, make sure to provide them with the right type of water. Lighting is another crucial aspect of carnivorous plant care. These plants love sunlight, and many species require a good six to eight hours of direct sunlight each day. If you're keeping your plants indoors, a sunny windowsill can be a good spot. However, if you find that your home doesn't get enough natural light, you might want to consider investing in a grow light. Feeding your carnivorous plants is where things get really interesting. Despite their name, these plants can actually survive without eating any bugs at all. They get most of their nutrients from photosynthesis, just like other plants. The bugs they catch are just a supplement, providing extra nutrients that are hard to come by in their natural habitats. So don't worry if you don't have a steady supply of flies or spiders to offer your plants. They'll manage just fine without. That said, if you do want to feed your plants, it's important to do so sparingly. Feeding them too often can actually do more harm than good. A small insect every two to three weeks should be more than enough. And remember, these plants prefer live food. So avoid the temptation to feed them bits of meat or other inappropriate foods. Now let's talk about some common mistakes to avoid. Overwatering is a common issue. While it's true that many carnivorous plants like to keep their feet wet, they don't enjoy being waterlogged. Make sure your plants have good drainage to prevent their roots from rotting. Another common mistake is repotting your plant too often. Carnivorous plants generally don't mind being a bit root-bound, and repotting can cause unnecessary stress. Aim to repot your plant every two to three years and always use a suitable soil mix. Lastly, resist the urge to trigger your plant's traps for fun. It can be tempting, I know, but it uses up valuable energy that the plant could be using for growth. With proper care, these plants will be your home's defense against pesky insects. Enjoy the unique beauty and functionality of your carnivorous plants, and remember, they're more than just bug catchers. They're a fascinating addition to any home's flora. So, are carnivorous plants the answer to your insect problems at home? They could very well be. We've taken a delightful journey exploring these fascinating organisms, their various types suitable for indoor use and how to care for them. We've uncovered the potential of these green warriors in tackling common household pests such as flies, mosquitoes and spiders. Carnivorous plants offer a natural and intriguing alternative to traditional pest control methods. They add a touch of exotic charm to your living space, while silently working to keep the bug population in check. And while they may require a bit of a green thumb, their unique appeal is certainly worth the effort. In essence, these plants could be the eco-friendly, aesthetically pleasing solution you've been seeking to maintain a comfortable, bug-free home. Remember, every plant has its unique charm and function. Perhaps it's time to let carnivorous plants take a bite out of your insect problem. Until next time, stay green.